Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for January 2021 for the sign of Libra. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your Spirit Message card. What do we have for Libra please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. What is the message that Libra needs to hear from Spirit January 2021? And remember, the message can be something big or small, can be something specific or just advice. So let's see what we get for you, Libra. Message for Libra, please. Thank you. So we have, I mean, you see all those doors. We have, when you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You'll be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. I definitely feel like, I mean, it feels like multiple choices there, you know. Okay, what do we have for Libra, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Librans. Thank you from spirit. Thank you. This is the universe guiding you. We have number two, Ascended Masters, create open communication. It feels like you're being guided, I mean, intuitively guided. It could be in terms of making some choice or decision here, Libra. But there is absolute divine inspiration here. You can see all that divine energy, you know, enlightening this person so it feels very beautiful let's pull some cards and see what else we get so the first card i'm going to pull three cards the first card is the challenge or issue that you face that you need help from spirit on in january 2021 second card is your advice from spirit and the third card is the outcome should you take the advice then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message, Libra. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Libra, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message from spirit. For our lovely Librans, thank you. Thank you. So we have the King of Wands in your challenge position. Ace of Pentacles is advice from spirit. And the outcome we have the Devil. Card of Capricorn. King of Wands is generally Leo energy for me as a reader, but it can be fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, if it's a person or the energy of. Okay, what do we have for Libra, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Librans. Thank you. January 2021. Thank you. Okay, so we have the chariot. The Ace of Pentacles, we have with the Six of Swords, lovely. And the Devil Energy, we have the Eight of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles here. There's something to do with um, power here, Libra. I mean, the challenge is to take control of a situation. I feel this is you. I mean, the court cards can be people in your life and the King of Wands can be male or female energy. But the King of Wands is somebody who essentially is in their power. It's a sign of power, authority, somebody who takes control, takes the lead. 
and goes for what they want. They are the opportunist, the go-getter, the, the person of action. And it is somebody who is in their power, who understands how to bring growth and success into their world. So it feels in this situation, that's what you're being asked to do. Take control of something that has controlled you. Because, and I'm going to move to this devil energy, because the devil appears when we feel powerless, you know? And the devil is that illusionary energy of we give our power to situations, to ideas, to people, you know? But generally, people can't take our power. It's something that we freely give under the act of an illusion, feeling powerless. And it can represent a situation that has been unstable. I mean, the devil can represent toxic relationships, and that can be in any area, unhealthy relationships, power, struggles, manipulation, codependency, addiction. But it's a card of instability. So it feels for some of you, you're, the challenge is to, to take control of something now. And that's what the chariot is, is asking you to do. And I feel it's to do with whatever this devil represents for you. Because the chariot is somebody who takes the reins of their life. And it is a card of overcoming. It's a card of overcoming internal obstacles, the barriers of self that we put up, overcoming those, and also external challenges. So the chariot understands how to overcome, take the reins of their life and charge ahead, take control of a situation, take action, stay determined, and it's a card of success and victory. Now, yes, that could be with a person in your life, potentially. This could be a person um, or a situation that you need to take control of now. And Spirit is saying, now is the time to take the reins of your life. Um, because for some of you, Spirit is saying, there is an opportunity now, a window of opportunity available to you presented by this Ace of Pentacles, a beautiful, blessed opportunity. It's handed to you by God, the Divine, the Universe. Now, this can be either moving, relocating for some of you, or it could be to do with career financial opportunities. For example, if it's, if it's, if it's moving, relocating, I mean, you know, there's things like you could be making an offer on a new home or, you know, um, you could be offered a new job. Uh, there could be some opportunity in business that is right for you now. Can be to do with investments, finances as well. But it's the beginnings of something new. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles is a wonderful energy of something solid, stable, secure, where you're being assisted by the universe. To, it's a window of opportunity towards a new beginning. And it feels for some of you, it's the beginning of an abundant time. The Ace of Pentacles is also something solid, stable, secure. And it feels that's what you are moving towards. You are going to overcome by being in your power, by taking control of a situation now. Something that may have controlled you, dictated to you, made you feel powerless for a period of time. I mean, there's a change in terms of a power dynamic here I can see in the cards, where it feels like you've had enough. You're, you're ready to deal with the situation and it might well be this opportunity that's coming into you is allowing you to transition from choppy waters instability towards better times ahead so it feels like you're so ready for this powerful new beginning now choices could be included in this some clear choices decisions that you need to make but it feels very positive in the advice from spirit in what's coming towards you. Because like I said, this devil, it, it feels like you're ready to, you're done with it. Because this, the eight of, of cups is, can be a card of walking away, physically walking away, moving on, but also emotionally moving on. You know, being done with the situation that has just been not healthy for you, has caused you instability. 
and you're, uh, this person walks from the Eight of Cups towards the Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment card, to something better. And again, there's a sense of healing sometimes with the Six of Swords as well. So some of this might be healing energy as well. But you're ready to detach from situations that are no longer serving you and move towards better times. And what you're moving towards, Libra, the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles could be offering you this opportunity. You know, they both hold the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, and it, this is also an energy of greater stability and security. Could be a person in your life who is offering something more stable, secure, solid, trustworthy. Um, but also it could be, I mean, it could be to do with a situation, job, career, money, uh, offering greater stability and security. So it feels in this situation, you're moving from an unstable time, taking, taking control of something that doesn't serve your highest good anymore and moving towards something that does. And this is so beautiful because it is the gift from the universe. A gift is offered here. Um, it's the helping hand. It's the helping hand card, the Ace of Pentacles. So it feels very beautiful, Libra. Feels very beautiful indeed. And it could be both. You could be moving for a job. You know, you could be relocating for a job as well. Um, or for business, you know. Very beautiful energy. But definitely better times ahead. The best is yet to come, definitely with this kind of energy. Okay. Oh, I love it for you, this card. Yeah. We have Panda. Balance. I mean, you're all about balance. And do you know, it's interesting because the six, of, the six in tarot is all about harmony, equilibrium, and re-establishing of that. So it feels, Spirit is telling you, when you detach from situations that are no good for you anymore, you will naturally move towards things that are greater stability, have offer greater stability, security, abundance, um, opening a new door, it feels, for some of you. We have asked how to bring balance to the situation and into your heart. Because for some of you, it's achievable now and you are all about balance, Libra. So very beautiful energy indeed. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Libra, and I will see you next time. Thank you.